The major focus of our research at this institute is on the function and structure of proteins. We are studying these molecules with a variety of methods. Professor Jensch studied how protein molecules are degraded when they are no longer used in cells and how protein degradation can be used to regulate cellular processes. His focus was on the so-called ubiquitin system. As its name suggests, ubiquitin is ubiquitously involved in controlling almost every process inside of cells. Well, I mean, like um, cell division, I mean, keeping basically um, the cell healthy in, in very simple terms. So I think he has been probably one of the most creative scientists in the ubiquitin field in the past 30 years, I would say. I met Stefan for the first time when I came here to the Max Planck Institute of Biochemistry as an intern student. I was sitting at the computer and Stefan came by and sat down next to me and I realized that for him there was no hierarchy, it was all about science. The work, I mean, continues at many places now and I think many of Stefan's former associates, graduate students, postdocs are now, I mean, leaders in the ubiquitin field. Many thought what we could take on from here to work on independently in our own labs. And I think the thing he hated most was sloppiness, I mean intellectual sloppiness, or, but also experimental sloppiness. Stefan had very many pioneering discoveries. It is therefore very difficult to reduce his work to, to one major discovery. The Otto Warburg Medal, I think, as uh, probably people know, is uh, the highest award in biochemistry in this country. In the case of Stefan Jensch, it is given for his fundamental contributions to understanding the role of ubiquitin, mostly in cell regulation, especially in the pathway of DNA repair. He was uh, truly excited about the news when he got the information. I remember that uh, very well.